My name's Theresa Woodbridge and I'm the subject coordinator for the International Foundation programmes here in Oxford Books International. And we have four programmes and they run very much in parallel with each other but there are slight differences between them. Um, one of the differences is that two of the courses are four-year programmes so you go from directly from the first foundation year into the first undergraduate year. The entry level will depend which one that you go on. So if you are a native speaker or a near native speaker, you would join the FDLA, the Foundation Diploma in Liberal Arts. And if you had IELTS 5 to 6.5, for example, you would join the International Foundation Programme. The majority of our students join in September and finish with their results in June. But there is another entry which is in January, which means our students start um, just after the Christmas break and they finish with their results um, late August, early September, which still gives them the opportunity to go on to an undergraduate course in September. Well, all the students have to take the equivalent of four compulsory modules. Uh, the first one that they take is in their first semester of study and that's called Orientation to University Studies and the actual course will depend on the entry level of the student. So students who've got IELTS 5 to 6.5 will come in at one level. Students who are native speakers, near native speakers, will come on at a higher level. And that enables us to give the right sort of support for the student, the individual student. And in their second semester of study, they take a compulsory module in intercultural communication and also an extended writing project essay which builds on the skills that they've developed in their first semester. So those are the ones they must take and then they have four options um, beyond that from quite a long list of choices. One of those modules must be at undergraduate level and we try to offer a range of modules which they take with other students across the university and um, for example there are about three or four business modules they might choose to take including planning a successful event or a global communication in business for example they can take that if they're interested in politics there'll be a politics module if they're interested in history they can take a history module so it is tailor-made really to the student within a certain boundaries and of limitations for students who are accepted onto the four-year programs it may be either the four-year program for business and technology or the four-year program for law arts humanities they will they may be asked for a slightly higher level of entry um, in terms of their own high school um, scores but they will then move without having to apply again onto the undergraduate program the following September and they have to pass the uh, foundation course they have to pass all their eight modules in order to progress but uh, they then don't have to jump through any more hoops, that's, that's it. Well, the lecture series gives students the opportunity to find out a little bit more about the kind of careers that they might go into and the kind of undergraduate courses that they might be interested in. So, for example, we've had um, a lecture from the School of Law to talk about why study law and what it, why law is important. We've had um, somebody talking about medical ethics, not that we expect my students to go on to study medicine, but it is one of those areas which can be very, very interesting and uh, controversial. We've had uh, our former registrar came and talked to us about higher education in general. And we've had um, one of our colleagues from across the university talking about women and leadership and you know how women fit into the general pattern of things, both in business and in government. So we're hoping that that gives students a lot of thought-provoking information and it also leads them to think about what they might want to study, what they might want to do when they finished studying and the various opportunities that they have. And I should have said at the beginning we had our careers office came and talked to the students about how they choose careers, how they choose undergraduate courses. So it's, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to open their eyes to what there is available to them in the outside world as well as in the university. The way we, the best way we can judge that is by talking to our students after they've finished 
and it's often very rewarding in September, October when our students who've finished the first year and starting their you know, first year of undergraduate study come up to us and say, I'm so glad I did the foundation programme because I'm very well prepared. I know the university, I know how it works, I know how to use a library, um, I'm not lost and I feel I've had a very solid academic skills background and uh, it is nice when they actually can feel that they've had the benefit of that and they've already had a, the opportunity to try a few different modules and to know what they really want to study. Mm -hmm.